Today, I'll discuss an important tool for music teachers to support their recruitment and retention efforts. This tool is the teacher's website. Hey, lately, school districts everywhere have required their teachers to use platforms such as Google Classroom, Canvas, and Schoolology. Most times, teachers don't have a choice on which platform to use. Now, while these are fantastic support systems for classrooms and students, the information on these platforms is invisible and unaccessible to anyone who's not enrolled in the class roster. They won't do anything to support your recruitment efforts, and they won't increase the visibility of your program. So, today, I would like to encourage music teachers to develop their own teacher websites. Not in place of the Google Classroom that you've all worked so hard to maintain, but as a support agent for everything you do. My goal today is to provide you with some tools to make planning your own website a bit easier. If you take the time to create and maintain a website, it can have long lasting effects on your recruitment and retention. I'll talk about these three topics and provide you with some supportive materials. If I can save you some time and energy and give you a few of those out of the box ideas, then today will be a success. In this 15 minute presentation, you'll get an idea of how to create your own website. I'll provide you with a template that you can give to students for those first lessons on instruments. That template in a virtual stage, of course. I'm gonna provide you with some help in organizing your website, and we're gonna speak uh, briefly about the importance of creating a virtual stage for your students. And hopefully I'll give you some ideas that will help market your program and increase your visibility. Now, a great website doesn't do anything for you unless the students and your community can find it. This is an example of a post I created and hung around the school. Remember, it has to be very easy for students and parents to find your website. One or two clicks, any more, and there's a good chance they're going to give up. Now, we live in South Hadley, Massachusetts, and all the students know that SouthHadleySchools.org is their main site. And when they go to that site, then they have to select which school they're going to be in. Now, we're in the Michael E. Smith Middle School, and I tell the students that we have a band program, so look under Programs, and there is our website. Now, our, our whole thing today is about creating a way for your new students, your young students and their families to be able to find your website. So here's my website. Uh, you can see that we have our students at home. We have um, different pictures of the students when they're performing on stage and such. But uh, today, I'm going to bring you to... Um, the attention of a new student and I'm going to say we're going to click on this site okay so um, when you create something for your beginners I would recommend that you keep it pretty simple just keep three main topics on this site okay I have a home page that introduces things a selection guide for your instruments now that works fine for orchestra or chorus or general music or percussion ensemble, what it is, whatever it is that you teach. And then you have to have a registration guide. So um, let's I'll share a quick video with you. It's a minute and 10 seconds long here. Um, when you do a introduction, try to keep it simple, okay? Introduce yourself just as you would when meeting students for the first time Try to tell them something about yourself and something about the program. Hello to the future fifth grade band students. My name is Mr. Holmes, and I'm the band director at Michael E. Smith Middle School in South Hadley. You know, growing up, playing an instrument and being in the band 
was some of the best experiences that I can remember. I loved being with my friends. I loved being in the marching band, in the jazz band. I remember being in the concert band and going to lots of competitions. It was just so much fun. And I'm excited because now you have the opportunity to start learning a new instrument. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, we can't get everybody together. So I'll be teaching from here in my basement band room. And we'll be doing everything online. We'll be using your Chromebooks. We'll be using different websites and your band book. And we're going to have an awful lot of fun. You know, the pandemic's not going to last forever, but music will. And this is just a wonderful opportunity for you. And I really hope that you will consider being part of it. Welcome video to the students. Um, and I would then ask the students to check out the instrument selection guide. In our middle school band, the students have a choice of six different instruments, flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, and percussion. Now, um, each of these uh, little pages has a, web, has a uh, YouTube video from the United States Army Field Band. And each of these little intro videos is about a minute long, minute and 30 seconds or so. Um, I'm not going to play you the video because you guys are all teachers. You know about this, but I'll start it just so you can hear it. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Pam Daniels, and this is a flute. So they'll watch the videos. Um, and then I asked them to, to listen to some more examples. And this is where the students really did become pretty excited. I gave them three other videos for each instrument and asked them to go home and listen to these with their families and try to explain to their families why they were so interested in the instrument. And um, that really generated some enthusiasm in the families. Um, finally, I would recommend that you use a registration page and this reg registration page should also include information about how to get your instrument and what will happen after you uh, complete the registration form. Make sure that you give them an opportunity to um, learn a little bit more about yourself and how to easily contact you. I make sure I leave my phone number here and my emails. Um, I also highly recommend that you use a Google form to collect all of the enrollment um, information so that you have everything from the very beginning. And that way um, you, you, you just get everything from the families right, right in the very beginning. And they're very happy to fill out these forms. So finally, uh, not finally, but let's keep going forward here. Um, what happens once the students get their instrument? Uh, this is something that your teacher's website can really help support. I believe you have to create a, um, a way that it's easy on the child to learn how to get started. Now, you have to remember that most of the time, the parents also don't know anything about the instrument that just walked in the house. So you have to give everyone some tools so that they feel like they're supported. If you can make it easy for them, it's going to make a big difference. And I also say to the students, repeat, rewind, repeat, rewind. Listen to these videos over and over. So here on my website, I've um, handpicked um, different videos that are going to help the students get things started. So um, everything's here from how to open up the case, how to, how to put the instrument together, and so on and so forth. And I would highly recommend that you um, do a sequential set of videos. Also give yourself an opportunity to um, let them print some stuff at home that's going to help them out as well. And um, this is a great, a great chance for you to get this, the students off to a strong start. So, um, you know, my, I think I believe the same thing that everyone else, that music teachers' uh, most basic job is about building community. And, you know, when you share what the children are learning, 
then more people are going to be happy to support you. And the more people know about what's going on in the program, the more people want to be part of it. There's your retention. There's your recruitment. Um, I really believe that the website can be a strong advocate for maintaining um, communication to the, to the parents. And it gives the children something to be excited about. And they'll check on what's going on for their, for their band program or chorus or whatever it is that you have. And if you can make it really easy to know what the schedule is, then uh, those three things together, you're going to have an increase in your retention. So uh, when you're setting up your website, I would recommend thinking about this as a huge virtual file cabinet. But unlike a typical file cabinet, where the contents are all private and they're often locked up, a teacher's website allows your school community to access all of the important elements of your program. I would definitely suggest that you include at least these elements. Now try to remember, my viewpoint represents that of a middle school band director. Um, and so I'm going to say, you know, young children love to perform for their family members. But for all students, you need to give them an opportunity to share their work. And I call this the showcase for student learning. I got to tell you, Happy Birthday is one of the most requested tunes from my young students. They all want to learn Happy Birthday. Why? Because they want to play it for their family. If you can make it easy for children to share little performances of, of themselves, well, I'm a huge advocate for children to record themselves and then share it with their family. Smart Music has made this very, very easy for the last few years. Now, recruitment and retention is today's theme. I have a different webinar where I'll discuss why virtual performances are so important for young children, and I provide tips and tricks to make that successful at the middle school level. But the basic premise is, when children are proud of themselves, that equals retention. When families can hear and see the efforts and the growth of their children, well, that equals retention. So you remember how I mentioned the uh, showcase for student learning. We've, we had our big concert back in February, and that was on posted there, and it just made a huge difference for the kids. And I was able to put um, their entire concert on Zoom. We had about 80 members, uh, 80 different families on, online. And then I just posted the entire concert here. I'm not going to play it for you right now. You're welcome to check it out. Um, it included jazz band and concert band and little solos and duets and um, the beginner band and a jazz combo. It really was um, quite an effort. But it, it's nice to be able to put that on the website. So as we're getting near the ending here, uh, one of the things I would say to people is try to uh, develop and have a consistent header and footer on your emails and documents. It's going to market your program. It's going to make it a lot easier for people to find your website if it's always at the bottom of your emails. Basically, more visibility is going to equal easier recruitment and a higher retention. Remember that showcase for student learning that I talked about in the last page. Well, I always put that at the bottom of my emails in the signature page. And um, so this is connected to my YouTube page. There's about 34 videos here. A lot of them are just um, smart music recordings in which I took a screenshot of the music and then we created a movie with iMovie. But in the last um, several months, we started um, doing more virtual concerts that combine video and audio, and the students really, really love that. So let me go back. You're welcome to listen to any of those on my website. So uh, finally, well, if, if I had more time today, then I would definitely encourage people to... Um, 
take all of their music library and put it into a database. Especially if you're a band director, put the concert band and the jazz band into a database and try to make sure you know exactly what's smart music compliant. I also like to create a, a um, listening libraries for the students that represent all of the music that's in the library. And, and the last step I will say is, uh, you know that stretch after Thanksgiving that's just so busy? You know what? I always get so many requests from the students for holiday music. If you make uh, a page dedicated on your website for that, you will save yourself so much time. And, um, and the kids love that as well. And that's just another, another way of um, making the kids feel proud. Well, listen, folks, thank you very much for listening. And um, it was a pleasure to talk. I hope some of this is helpful for you.